Hi folks, this video here is all about mineral cleavage. And again, mineral cleavage is the way that basically it's, you know, if you, uh, if you give a mineral blunt force trauma here, we're gonna use a hammer in our case, but you could use, you know, um, pretty much anything, a pot and pan, a large rock that you found, right? Whatever. Um, but we're gonna determine basically how that energy then vibrates through that crystal. And if there are predetermined weak planes in that crystal, right, due to the crystal lattice, uh, we'll get minerals breaking along those, those preferentially breaking along those planes. So here is a model of our mineral halite, right? We've talked about this one a few times. Sodium chloride, and general table salt, right? Sodium chloride, sodium chloride, sodium chloride, blah, 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 right? You'll notice that all of these are lined up in a very cubic pattern, right? So when these break, right? When we give this blunt force trauma, what's gonna happen? It's gonna preferentially break in this direction, right? That's all one direction of cleavage. In this direction, it's two directions of cleavage. And then this direction, that's three directions of cleavage, right? And we'll break and form squares, right? Here's another example. This is our buddy calcite, which is a calcium carbonate. And carbonate is one carbon and three oxygens, right? So here's our carbon and our oxygens, and then here's our, our calcium, right? Now notice this has a little bit different crystal shape, right? It's kind of like the square, right? But tilted. Oops, bye-bye. <laughs> it's kind of like our square, but tilted, right? This is a rhombohedral shape, right? And guess what? Calcite also has three directions of cleavage. And let's look at those. One, right? Two. Three. But this time they are not at right angles to each other. So when we break this, right, we hit this with the hammer, give it some blunt force trauma, it'll break into these tilted squares, which are called ROMs or rhombohedrons, right? So these are two different types of, you know, three-way cleavage, right? So now what I've got for you to demonstrate uh, is some cleavage here. And uh, when uh, you do uh, this on your own, you are welcome to beat up your own minerals, right? But uh, make sure you wear the sunglasses, hey? Eh? Or, or regular glasses, right? You don't want to uh, end up having somebody have to pull quartz out of your eye. That would be no good, right? So, our first demonstration, this is where you fill in a little chart in the lab, right? We have rocks, or mineral sample A here, right? We'll take a look at them, right? Mineral sample A. First, anything you notice right off from there, Bryce? Any shapes you notice right off the bat? Triangles. Triangles, right? Okay. That might be important. Okay. Let's take this mineral. And I've got my nice little anvil here. Right? I'm just going to give them a little tap. And let's see what we get. Oh, notice I'm seeing more triangle shapes, right? And there we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's amazing. I've only ever done this twice, folks. This is an octahedron. This is octahedral cleavage, four directions of cleavage, right? So let's check this out. We have one direction here, two directions, three directions, and four directions, right? That's pretty awesome. I can't believe I just did that. I made this sweet, sweet octahedron, right? So sample A, right? If you see triangles in your samples, right? Those shapes and triangles, if you happen to, you know, be amazingly talented like me, you can, you know, make these perfect octahedrons, right? You see triangles, think four directions of cleavage, right? I'm gonna kind of give you a hint there. All right, so that was A. What did I do with B? Ooh, B's gonna be a fun one, folks. All right, can you even see the shape that this cleavage is gonna be? sort of but a tilted rectangle right okay. i think we might have a rhombohedron here but uh, this is going to be fun that's why i chose a big piece so i can go whack boom right oh man check that out rhombohedron right perfect rhombohedron right a square but tilted that's our guy right here right right also a fun fact this one fizzes in acid we give it a little a little hydrochloric acid here check it out watch it go crazy crazy right that's another very diagnostic property of this very particular mineral right? 
All right, that was a lot of fun. Some good minerals already. We are off to a rolling start on our cleavage demonstration. So that was was mineral B, right? It's mineral B. Yep. Pretty fun. All right. Let's check out mineral C. All right. I don't know. It looks like maybe we could have, you know, possibly some cleavage in there. But let's give it a whack. And this one, I got to whack a little hard here. So I'll be a little careful. Whoa. Destroyed it. Holy cow, man. Totally just mangled that. Are you all right? <laughs> Do you see any flat surfaces really on there? Oh, yeah, that's flat Oh, wow, right that there. is flat. That's probably, whoops. Anyway, yes, <laughs> let's say, I guess so. Uh, I, I have don't some really... of it falling off of my body. Yeah, there you go. Too. There we go, all right? So, interestingly, I don't see really many flat kind of surfaces right c i would say that what we're looking at here is fracture instead of cleavage right fracture being just that there's you know just you know no real weak direction so when you hit that mineral when you bash that thing with the the hammer that energy is kind of feathers throughout the crystal structure right? oh it's hot out here <laughs> all right D, all right. Oh, one more thing I should mention here, right? Let's take a look here at uh, these cleavage surfaces, right? So here's the one I just cleaved, nice fresh surface, right? Do you notice when I turn that, that at a certain angle, the whole face just shines at you? You can see it kind of all light up at one time. You see that? Is that being picked up by the camera? Uh. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. So that what that is telling you is when you see that, even if you have a kind of a regular surface, right? I mean, that's not dead flat, right? Uh, even if you have a you know a regular surface, still those atoms are all lined up at the same time and shining right back at you. So that's telling you that that is a cleavage surface, right? So again, look for the shininess uh, lighting up. Right? So now, what are we on? D, D. Mineral D here. Okay. Another beautiful, very common mineral here. This is our mineral D. Right. And just kind of taking a look at this here, um, before we even hit it, let's see if we could identify any cleavage planes or surfaces on this rock just by shine. Okay, so that seems to be a pretty shiny surface, right? That's going to be the same plane as this surface, right? Now, I get it too. I might have to break it here to get another one. This another one's going to take a little whack. Whoops. Boom, there we go. Okay. That's not cooperating. There we go. Nice shiny flat surface, right? Another nice shiny flat surface, right? Cool. Let's see if I can get this one even a little better here. Take another chunk. Oh, there we go. Right? Here's a beautiful example, right? So here, nice shiny flat surface. Nice shiny flat surface, right? So this side too, even though it's pretty uneven, that whole face will shine at you. That's that same plane. Right? So what I am seeing here is one plane, two planes at about 90 degrees to each other. Right? This direction I'm not seeing any shiny in that direction, so I can't really say that I have any other cleavage planes. Right? So two cleavage planes right, at about 90 degrees. Right? A, B, C, D. What are we on to? E. Uh, this will be a fun one. Bryce, would you like to smash this mineral? Okay. All right. My son Bryce will take over here the smashing of the mineral, right? Okay. Let's and first of all, of you use the flat side. Use the flat side, right? So, yep. And what you're going to do is you're just going to give it a good. Just this one's not going to take too hard to break, so just give it a good, solid thump. I missed. You missed. <laughs> I'll actually hit the rock. 
Perfect. Beautiful. Not what do you say? fine as I thought. Okay, well, here, try again. How was that? You powdered it, right? <laughs> but what shapes do we see in this powder? Hey, lots of like squares. Squares, yes, absolutely beautiful, right? This is cubic cleavage. Go ahead, smash it again. Right? It is fun to smash rocks, right? And yes. again, look, cubes, right? Variations on squares and rectangles, right? Have fun. Boom, right? Again, perfect squares, right? Wonderful. That was again, this was, it was, was E. Okay. All right. And now we have the last one. F, right? Like Micah. Oh, yeah. Good job, son. It is Micah. Yes. And this has one direction of cleavage. It's called perfect basal cleavage, right? So what we can do is we can take this, we can peel it into sheets, right? But in this direction, it's pretty strong. It's just in this direction, right? Peel it into sheets very easily. And you can get this, you know, theoretically down to one atom thick, right? I'm sure you can see right through that too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? So even though it's dark, it doesn't like mean it's metallic, right? Yeah. All right, folks. Thanks for playing. I'll see you. Yeah.